the TPLF on Saturday sent a letter to 52 states and international organizations accusing Eritrean and Ethiopian government forces as well as special forces from Amhara region of Ethiopia of unprecedented war crimes and inhuman atrocities. It further accused them of committing all kinds of crimes against the people of Tigray. In the statement, as disclosed by Tigray Television, the TPLF made claims that it is making military advances in the Afar and Amhara regions, but it believes, TPLF claims, in a peaceful resolution to the problem. It called upon the countries and international organizations, for whom the letter is written, to pressure Prime Minister Abiy Ahmed's government to accept the peaceful negotiation. The TPLF appeal for peace came at a time when the Ethiopian government announced major battle victories in multiple fronts in the Gonda and Wallo fronts. From the presentation by General Bacha Debel, who on Saturday had a press conference in the capital Addis Ababa, the victories were achieved by the Ethiopian forces, including militia and Amhara region special forces. The battle that TPLF fought in Gonda was intended to take control of Humira which would have enabled it to open a corridor with Sudan for logistical and arms supply to continue the war. General Bacha Debel said on Saturday that the TPLF plan to open the corridor has failed. Over 10,000 TPLF forces are said to have been killed in the Gonda and Wallo battle fronts. Ethiopian activists and opposition party politicians who are also active on social media do not seem to support negotiation with the TPLF, which may mean that Prime Minister Abiy Ahmed's government could find it risky to entertain the negotiation idea. Rather, there have been Twitter campaigns with hashtags like hashtag no negotiation with TPLF and hashtag disarm TPLF, among others.